Hello, and welcome to a little series we are recording around Dynamics 365 Marketing. My name is Tom Lemerand, and today I'm going to be showing you marketing emails within the D365 Marketing module. So with that, with that, let's jump right into D365 Marketing. So I'm in the marketing emails area, and I have pre-created a, a marketing email for this demonstration. So let's open up this one. So as you can see, it's a pretty basic email. Um, it just has, you know, some webinars that we are doing, ability to put the webinar image in there, put some information about the webinar and link to the webinar. Um, I used a template to do this, but what we can do here is inside here, there's this toolbox that allows us to add all different types of elements into our email. And so notice that we can have different styles or different blocks that we can have inside of here. We can have the basic elements of adding text or images or dividers, or if we have videos or buttons, um, we can put content blocks inside of here. We can link to other um, capabilities that Microsoft provides, like a survey, or we can link to a marketing page. Marketing pages are covered in another video. And then we can even do some things around events inside of here. It is pretty easy to edit this template, or sorry, to edit this email. So if I go here and click on image, what it actually does is it tells me where can I put the image inside of here? I want the image right next to the logo up here. So I'm gonna click the plus sign here. Now it gives me the same, this is where the image is. Now notice that over here on the right hand side, it went from toolbox to properties. Each one of those elements have their own set of properties. We are on the image property, so the first thing I'm gonna do is say, where is this image coming from? Inside of D365 Marketing, there is an area that you can store all of your images in. And so I have uploaded all those images already. You are able to search for those images by looking for the keyword or doing some sorting. But I have the image that I see that I want right here, so I'm gonna select that image. And now the image gets put in right where I wanted it to go. Now there is the ability to edit more of the properties for that image over here. And each one of the elements, like I mentioned before, have their own set of properties. All right, now that I have you know, made the, the email that I want to do, the second thing I want want to check on here is just to make sure that it's going to pass my spam filters or it's pass the spam filters. So I'm going to do this spam checker and what it's doing is that it's really looking at my um, area here and it says that there's you know there's three items here that um, so it's saying that there's a lot of uh, images in here the host name is a little long and um, you know I have a lot of HTML in there, but that's common for this type of email. But anyways, I can use this um, information and I can go back and make some modifications to make this you know, a little bit easier, better spam score. But I will tell you that this spam score is, you know, it changes every time you make a change. So let's say if I go through here and I wipe out the subject and I try the spam checker again, notice now I went from the low to medium risk and I have another issue that has been um, added to this. So every time I check my spam checker, it always looks at what I made the modifications since the last time I ran. I can also go into here, and like I mentioned before, I use this from a template. So inside the emails area, there is a template capability. So let me just open up the templates right here. So there are some predefined templates that come with D365 Marketing. Notice we can scroll down here and there's a good amount. If you click on one of the templates, it kind of just shows you over here what type of template it is. Um, the nice thing is, is that you can create your own uh, marketing email templates. And, again, and Ledger Partners, we recommend or have a best practice that you do create your own email templates. And that is an area you know we can help you with or you can do, but the tool allows you to create your own templates and also has a slew of their own templates that are provided within the application. So once I feel that I, I have the email the way I want it to look, I can start doing some um, previewing on here. So let me just 
to tell you here, if you have HTML, if you really want to change and if you want to, you know, really personalize or really make it look or have a look and feel like you want it to, of course, you can go in, in here and modify or copy and paste in HTML. Again, you don't have to use it. It has a, a nice little editor with it. But then we can preview what the email will look like. And there's two different previews that come with Dynamics Marketing. The first is the basic preview. If you use Dynamics 365 Sales at all, you will maybe recognize this preview with the email functionality that's inside of D365 Sales, but it allows you just to see, hey, if I'm sending this email, what's going to look like on a generically, if I do it on a tablet, if I do it, you know, long ways or, or tall ways, and then same thing with mobile and then desktop. So this is pretty basic, just, you know, how the layout is based if you go skinny or not. So if I make this skinnier, you know, how does this look compared to if it's, if it's a little bit wider um, area? But what's really nice is that they also have a, um, some tools in there called Inbox Preview. So what they did is that they actually worked with um, Litmus, which is the ability to go through here and test your email against multiple different types of email inboxes. Um, you get 500 free tests or previews a month with the subscription to D365 Marketing. If you want more, you can sign up and add more from Litmus, but it does give you 500 free a month, which from our experience has been enough. But again, if you're doing a lot of emailing and you're doing a lot of previewing and you have a lot of different inboxes that you're trying to get into, you know, you may need a little bit more, but it is a nice feature that is included inside of here. Once you have everything all set up, of course, you can make your email go live. And then what you do is you're going to send your email. There's multiple different ways to send your email. The first way is, by the way, you'll do it right away, is this a test send. So you can test send it to you or your team or you know to a couple of people just to see how it looks. There's a send now option. That allows you, when you click on this, it's just going to go in and you just put in the email addresses or select the contacts or select the leads that you want to be sending it to, and it will just automatically send it. The third way and probably the most common way is through a customer journey. The customer journey is the automation inside of Dynamics Marketing, and customer journey will be another video that we will be recording a little bit later on that you can come to our website to see. Once your email has been sent, of course, there is an insights tab, which is all the analytics. So anywhere you see insights inside of Dynamics 365 Marketing, that is where the analytics will live. Now, again, I have not sent this email yet. We were just doing it as a demo. But as you can see, it has all the, you know, all the analytics or all the metrics that you look for when you're sending out an email. How many were delivered? How many was open? What were the clicks? You know, were they forward? Did you have bounces? What was your open rate? What was your click-through rate? Um, and then there's also a lot more different items that are part of this. You are able to do A-B testing. And again, the, with A-B testing, you can have two different versions of your email, maybe different subject, maybe you know different images, and then send it to a controlled group or a test group. Whatever they respond best to, that, that email will then get sent to the remaining group that you're sending to. So I thank you for your time today. And as we have reviewed D365, marketing and the marketing email function inside of here. Um, please check back with our website because like I mentioned before, we are doing a little series and we're going through all the different components of D365 marketing. Thank you.